Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone, Ramadan Mubarak. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I'll be talking to you guys about some of the great skills that you can use to gain an extraordinary amount of knowledge. Now, I know reading a book, especially while you're fasting, is a bit hard. But if we're being honest, reading the Quran, which was what we do every single day of Ramadan, it actually increases the possibilities of you gaining more knowledge. It gives you amazing skills and the ability to memorize, learn, understand. It gives you the ability to speak the Arabic language in, at, at an extraordinary speed and at a great comprehension rate. So reading the Quran is a very important aspect of Ramadan because not only does it ensure that we remember our Quran and the words of Allah, but it also gives us an amazing feeling, you know, rahat al-bal. You get an amazing feeling when you feel so peaceful. You get the peace of mind. So yeah, when it comes to gaining skills when reading the Quran, of course, especially during Ramadan, when you haven't eaten anything, when nothing in your body is working besides your brain, all the blood flow can go towards it. So when you're trying to pray, when you're trying to read Quran, or just remembering Allah in any different way, it's great to always remember that you can add more. Listen, there were Muslims who were fighting during war and fasting Ramadan. So why can't you just read a book while you're doing it? So it also teaches us many different rules of life because Quran is the law of life. It has so many different ideas and laws that apply to life in many different manners. It applies the rules of how to create a family, like in Surah Nisa. It applies the rules of Arkan al-Islam in Surah Al-Baqarah. And there are multiple different ways. The Quran can help you improve your social, even financial life. And it can improve different aspects of your life. For instance, it can teach you how to build the correct family. It teaches you about the rights of women. Those were Surah Nisa. When it comes to Surah Al-Baqarah, it teaches you how God created anything, really. The beginning of creation. It also teaches you many different things about how to elaborate and communicate with your financial situation. So, Quran really is just the law of life. Why don't you read a bit more about it? So when it comes to the relationship between Quran and living a good mental world, in, in a good mental way and in this world right now, is that Quran gives you the ability to have the peace of mind and to obtain it, own it, and always recall it whenever you need. Because learning the Quran is something, right? But actually memorizing it, it grows. It, your knowledge will grow exponentially. Because the Quran is just one book that contains life itself. So, what does that have to do with motivation and gaining knowledge? Besides everything that, every single thing that I've just said, Quran actually plays the biggest role in a Muslim's life. If you want to take any book as a role model, take the Quran. If you want to take any person as a role model, take the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, basically, if you really want a happy life, go by the rules of the Quran. It's the greatest rule and the greatest law book to ever exist. So what does that have to do with motivation? Number one, the Quran always gives you a surge and a feel of energy, especially in Ramadan since there is one night, which is called Laylat al-Qadr, which can give you an extra surge of energy to want to do way more things than you can. And a great thing about Ramadan is that we also fast. And the Quran also tells us the greats of fasting and the benefits of it. For your mental health, it gives you the ability to be patient. If you can keep yourself away from what you can eat and away from the bad things that get, get rid of your fasting, that teaches you discipline, okay? That's only one thing. And discipline is one of the greatest skills that you can gain and learn today. So yeah, when it comes to Quran, Ramadan, fasting, reading it and memorizing it, it all goes down to the brain. And what's connected to our brain? the guts, because there are millions and thousands of neurons that are connected from the guts to the brain, as in the stomach, everything else down here is up there, because the vitamins and everything, they go down so they can surge and come back up. 
One of the most important things is that during Ramadan, when fasting, it actually clears our digestive systems of anything bad and horrible that could harm us. It also gets rid of obese, and there are many studies out there that show that fasting is incredible for not only the body, but also the brain. Because a great brain is in a greater body. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, Ramadan Mubarak, don't forget to read the Quran, and I'll see you later. Bye.